acupuncture for symptom management in palliative care. Let's take a look at overview. First of all, I will give you a quick introduction about acupuncture and the traditional Chinese medicine. Also, I'm going to talk about uh, the terminology that we use to better understand the acupuncture diagnosis and the treatment plan in terms of qi, blood, yin yang, meridian acupuncture. Then I will talk about the acupuncture inpatient setting at Cedar Sinai Medical Center. Second, I will talk about the acupuncture for symptom management. Uh, the clinical application for post operation patient care, post stroke symptom, cancer patient care, and uh, anxiety crisis insomnia. Finally, I will share with a case study with you about acupuncture for inpatient at a Center Sinai Medical Center. As you know, acupuncture is one of the oldest hair therapies in the world, originating in China over 3,000 years ago. Only in the last four decades has it become popular in the United States. In California, acupuncturists were licensed as primary care providers since 1976. Only in the last 30 to 20 years has it been practiced at the Cedar Sinai Medical Center. Acupuncture is widely used uh, in palliative care. For example, um, <coughs> post operation patient for post stroke patient uh, and uh, cancer care, cancer patient care, especially after chemo, after uh, radiation. So we have a uh, a lot of ex successfully uh, experienced to treat this patient with acupuncture. So, what is the acupuncture? What does it, how does it work? So here is the definition. Acupuncture is a technique for balancing the flow of energy or life force known as qi, which is believed to flow through pathways in other words, meridians <coughs> in the human body by inserting the needles into specific points along those meridians. Acupuncture practitioners will believe that your energy flow <coughs> will rebalance. In the United States, acupuncture is most commonly used for treat pain, but also in palliative care, a lot of cancer patients increase a lot. So. Acupuncture is a widely used to treat a cancer patient, especially for the side effect. Next effect, please. So this picture shows qi. This is a bigger word, qi. What is qi? Qi is the sort of energy that flows in the meridians of the human body. Qi flows in the human body like a blood flow in the artery and the vein. The artery brings the blood, leave the heart to the extremities, and the vein take the blood back to the heart. The qi flow in the meridian. Um, qi flow in the meridian uh, from the head to toe, inside and outside, and the flow run on in and on through the body. So qi means energy that manifests simultaneously on the physical and the mental spiritual. The standard explanation in ancient text is when qi does not flow, pain occurs. When qi flows, pain disappears. Pain is treated to enable the flow of qi. In other words, if the patient have pain, we said, oh, your 
qi pathway was blocked. If we give you treatment, give you acupuncture treatment, your pain will be gone. That means your qi flow free in your body. Next, please. So, can we fear our qi? According to the research, uh, they said <coughs> yes, qi is a variation. Qi is an oscillation of the meridians. Qi is a what cares the like effect of acupuncture from acupoints to another part of the body. All uh, a person's health is influenced by the quantity, quantity and the balance of qi. They face. What is the relationship between qi and blood? First of all, the effect of qi on blood. Qi moves the blood. In other words, qi promotes the circulation blood. Qi controls blood. If qi stagnation, then fears to move. If qi efficiency fears to move. In other words, qi cannot run too much or too weak, too fast or too slow. Otherwise, your body qi will be in imbalance. That is the case. Second, the effect of blood on qi. Blood carries qi. Blood produces qi. Blood lowers qi. In traditional Chinese medicine, in the older textbook, they said that blood is the mother of qi. And the qi is the head of a soldier of blood. Do you understand? It's in traditional Chinese medicine. Let's face so how does the flow of qi become blocked or balanced? The smooth and the balanced flow of qi can be affected by a nauseous substance, both external and internal, including poor nutrition, impure food, toxic air, or water, infectious or contagious disease, malfunctioning organs, or traumatic injuries. <coughs> Exceeding them, please wind, wind, cold, heat, or emotion respond to life, such as worry, anxiety, stress, may affect the flow of qi through the meridians. Next, please. What happens when the flow of qi become blocked or balanced? When qi flows smooth and the hum Nearly throughout the meridians, every organ and the body system are in a harmony, bring health and balance. However, if when the qi is blocked or unbalanced, it can be detrimental to a person's health and could lead to various signs, symptoms, and the illness. Okay, this graph shows meridian acupuncture. Meridians make uh, up the and in turn, uh, intricate and uh, invisible network, transporting and uh, direct qi to every part of the body. <coughs> so this graph shows uh, meridian energy balance testing. Uh, in the past, uh, uh, in the past uh, ten years, so we have been used. Uh, the device called the IQGraph Digital Meridian Image to test the, the patient's uh, energy in the body. There are a total of 14 meridians in the human body. Let's please. So you can see when we use IQGraph to give the patient a test, we can test the energy. So we give you exactly what is energy score, and also we give you the 12 meridians uh, image here. Okay, let's please. Okay, so there are total meridians, but plus uh, the other red map and the dual map were coming in. Okay, so heart, liver, Lung, spleen, kidney, pericardium, 
represented in meridian and small interesting, large interesting, gall blender stomach, urine blender, triple <coughs> energies blend uh, meridian represent young meridian. So all those uh, meridians named by each organ. You may also consider what is the financial support for a patient. What kind of insurance covers acupuncture treatment? We are a provider of the fully insurance plans. For instance, Antenna Assurance, Anna Blue Cross Blue Shirt Covered California, <coughs> Cigna United Health Care, Kaiser Permanent uh, Contact with American Spicy Health. We call it ASH. Also, we accept uh, cash patient if the patient has Medicare or Medicare car does not cover acupuncture, unfortunately. So we give patients a good deal. The first uh, visit normally we receive the uh, cash patient it is uh, 160, follow up is 120 or 90, depend on what kind of acupuncture we service we provide to the patient. Uh, next please. So, what happens at an acupuncture treatment uh, at Cedar Sinai, unlike Western medical doctor like you, you use uh, EKG, CT scan, and uh, MRI, we use Pump diagnosis, pulse diagnosis, and the IQ graph digital medical image to give patient uh, um, diagnosis and treatment plan. Normally we use uh, 4 to 20 IQ points, uh, 5 to 30 minutes to give the patient uh, treatment. Let's see. Uh, here, look at the tongue. We use the tongue diagnosis. This tongue looks like a strawberry, is it? So, if you look at this tongue, actually the patient has a fever, has a heat invasion. So, we use different uh, you know, method to give patient diagnosis. Okay, next please. This slide shows yin yang graph. So, we use IQ graph digital medical image to test the patient energy. Okay, so. This is, there are 14, uh, there are 12 meridians uh, on this graph. Okay, so you can see the yin yang score. The yin score, uh, this is 85, the yang score is 91. In other words, so the yin yang, patient normally, the yin yang should be balanced. However, now it's yin deficiency. Next please. How do you measure it? Yeah. Can you Charlene, how do you that? do the graph? Oh, that's a good question. Okay, uh, go back. <coughs> so if you want to get more information, the detail how to give the patient a measurement, you will go to the website www.iqgraph.com demonstration. Or later on, I can show you how to do it. Okay, next case. So this picture shows under acupuncture umbrella, we give the patient a treatment method, include the twin acupressure, like this, and the electrical stimulation, and also laser acupuncture. See, this baby, lovely baby, lie down here, uh, accept the acupuncture treatment. The practitioner acupuncturist put it, this is laser acupuncture. Looks like this, looks like this. And just, this is a special way because this patient, uh, this baby patient has a stomach, uh, you know, pain, and so crying, and then, see, he looks like a happy, <laughs> lie down here, okay. So also, we give the patient an herbal formula, unlike in mainland China, uh, acupuncturist, the traditional medical doctor, can give the patient uh, prescribing for herbal tea. Also can prescribe um, 
medicine, uh, Western drugs. But here, if the patient requires the herbal um, medicine, we should discuss with the MDs and the attending physician to get, le get your authorization to send the herb tea to the patient. Next, please. So now let's move on acupuncture for symptom management in palliative care. So the clinical application for post-operation care, immune nerve system, include the headaches, migraine, leg pain, shoulder pain, back pain, chest wall pain, abdominal pain, um, the lip pain, foot pain, etc. Next, please. Also, we can treat patient post stroke, like uh, the patient have stroke, the whole body cannot move. That one acupuncture is very effective. Uh, Trigem nerve disorder, fibromyalgia, carpal syndromes, tennis ball, arthritis, anxiety, depression, insomnia, and uh, chemotherapy, especially for cancer patient after surgery and they have nausea, vomiting, they have um, <clears throat> fatigue, they have um, back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain. Also, sometimes they have hook, hookups. For example, I treat a patient with a brain surgery, as a brain cancer surgery, <coughs> and brain tumor surgery, and then this patient hook up day and night, 24 hours, non-stop. And then the doctor called me and said, can you give this patient a consultation? And then I come here, give the patient the five days treatment and stop it. And then he discharged from the hospital. <laughs> okay, next please. So here is the uh, example for headache. The principal acupuncture points are, next please. Gold blend 20. Okay, our shoe. This is a golden uh, patient. Okay, so the <laughs> golden patient. Okay, this is an old meridian. There are 12 main meridian and the plus two channel and the uh, two channel on the back and the ring channel in the front. Okay, GB channel, GB point is on here. Okay, it's right here. Okay, there are two. And Tai Yang looks like the patient, the Tai Yang points around here. And the Du channel is on the top of the head, and the Naji intestine is on the hand. And the lung seven also is on the hand. <coughs> Liver third is on the, on the uh, foot between the toe and the second toe, okay. So all those points is on the, you know, is on the meridian. In other words, in the human body, there are 365 points on the meridians, but now there are more and more. And the practitioner developed more um, points. Okay, next please. So, this uh, uh, picture shows trigem nerve acupuncture treatment. So, Look at this patient, trigem nerve. There are three branches around here. So the first branch, second branch, and the third branch. There are three branches uh, on the in our face. So this uh, uh, in the pain center. Uh, doctor refer a lot of patient has uh, uh, facial pain and uh, trigem nerve disorder to me to you know give their treatment. For example, <clears throat> for the first uh, uh, branch, we use uh, Tai Yang uh, uh, right here. We just show Tai Yang right here. And uh, on GB3 and the GB14, second, we use uh, GB1, um, stomach 2, and uh, um, small intern 18, and the uh, stomach 3rd. So the third branch we use uh, stomach six, stomach five, and uh, gallbladder two. Next, please. 
the, this slides show the um, uh, principal acupuncture treatment for leg pain. It, um, all those uh, uh, points I put here, you can look at it. Okay, next please. So this picture shows another <coughs> example, rotator cuff syndrome, uh, the shoulder pain. Okay, the principal acupuncture points are the following. Next, please. So, another size of shoes, uh, no back pain. So the patient has no back pain. Um, the principal acupuncture points are UB40 and the K2. This uh, UB40 is a urine blender 40 and the kidney 2. Basic uh, points. Normally, if it's uh, acute pain, we use this point like uh, on the extremity, it's very effective. If it's chronic pain, we use local point like uh, GB34, uh, UB65, UB60, uh, kidney 7, large interstate 11, uh, large interstate 4, uh, spleen 6, and the liver 2. Also, baliao. is around here. It's, uh, UB31 to UB34, okay, so around here. Uh, yeah, right here. Discussions. First of all, it is effective that meridian acupuncture treats patients with gastric bypass due to multiple complications and pain after surgery. <coughs> Second, this is evidence-based acupuncture. It's beneficial to both patient and the practitioner. The software tracks and stores all the patient's exams and provides fast, easy comparison to track your patient's progress and document the lead for care. Third, it has been observed that the patients using combination of Eastern and Western medicine have shortened Hospital stays requires uh, prescription drugs less, as well as have better overall health. Next, please. Also, of course, there is limitations. Inpatients are allowed only five minutes of acupuncture treatment and uh, are restricted from using herbal medicines. This is uh, insufficient for saving patients to uh, give their treatment. Uh, the Acugraph Digital Meridian Image symptom is a computerized tool used to analyze and document the energetic states of the acupuncture meridians. However, those, this needs to be more accurate to locate points on the meridians, possibly like an EKG. Thank you for your kind of listening. If you have any <laughs> questions, uh, I will be more than happy to answer you. Or you can give us a call at 310-360-0116 or send an email to us. Thank you. Thank you.